All right, so you wanna build an automated webinar for obvious reasons. You wanna build your list, make some sales, and we're gonna break down the ultimate automated webinar. We've used this exact formula to generate millions of leads online and tens of millions of dollars of sales, and I'm breaking it down for you step by step by step. Let's do it. All right, so when it comes to an automated webinar, we all know where it starts. It starts on the registration page. Okay, now I'll tell you, if your, your number one question is gonna be, well, Matt, what do I use, what system? There's a number of automated webinar systems. At this point, I think just about any of them will get the job done. We use a program called EverWebinar. It's just worked really well for us. It's got features that work. None of them are perfect and any of them will do the job. But usually, these webinar systems will come with their own registration pages outside of the box. When we show you examples of our funnels, just full disclosure, we build everything custom but realize that of all the things I'm gonna teach you here, now I'm gonna show you some real, real ninja stuff, especially at the end of this training, just know that you don't have to have all these pieces in place at first, right? So if you start out with the basic, generic, out of the box registration page, that's just fine. But here's the number one secret that you wanna make sure that you hit with this registration page, is after they register, you wanna make sure that you have automation, not only for email, right, which is, pretty obvious. The next is text marketing. And we usually make this optional because there'll be an option of like, hey, do you want to give, if you make phone number required, it's going to hurt your, your registration rates pretty bad. But if you make it optional, you get the best of both worlds. And the thing that we use, as you might already know, is Messenger. Okay, this is a little bit more advanced. You might not have it in version one, but it really helps your attendance rate. We see anywhere from 60 to 70% attendance rate, which as far as I know is just about the best in the industry. So you got them registered. Where do they go next? They go to a thank you page. Okay, so on this page, you wanna make sure, I think this is the number one problem that people have. You usually have a video there. On that video, be sure you recap why they need to attend the training. What is in it for them? That's always the way you wanna position every message that you ever do. Of course, you wanna say things like be on a computer because computers convert better than uh, an iPhone. Uh, you wanna let them know, bring a notebook, all those kind of things, but make sure that they know with crystal clarity why they cannot miss your event. So after the thank you page, then the next move is they go to the webinar. Okay, in regards to when do you run the webinar, um, what we generally do is we'll give them what we found is when you offer more than one time, it improves a few things. First of all, it improves the registration rate because when people have more options, they're more likely to register, but it also improves the attendance rate. Don't allow them to register too far out. When you make it two, three, four, five days, the further out it is, the less likely they are to attend. Um, most webinar systems, including every webinar, have a feature that's called just in time. Um, you can actually schedule it every 15 minutes. We like to do every 30 minutes just because it seems a little bit more natural. Quick side note here, never try to act like your webinar is live, okay? As soon as you lie to your prospect, you lose all trust and the sale is done, okay? So we don't go, hey, this is an automated webinar. Welcome to the automated webinar. We don't advertise that it's automated, but we never, ever, ever, ever let on that it's live when it's really not, okay? So uh, you got them to the webinar. Here is where the money comes, all right? When they're done with your webinar, you're gonna have a certain percentage of people who are gonna buy. In regards to what's a good conversion rate, um, if you do a couple percent, two percent, you're in the game, you can make enough money to advertise. Usually if you're doing three percent on an automated webinar, you're doing well. Don't listen to these people that tell you better. Uh, Grant Cardone is getting above six percent right now and that's Grant Cardone, uh, a client of ours that we run. So anywhere, as long as you're doing a couple percent, you're doing okay. And the way that you improve that is with the follow-up. So this is an absolute essential that will pick up tons of sales. So after your webinar, pretty much any automated webinar system will allow you to take those people and put them into different buckets. Might be a tagging system, might be whatever. Generally, you'll need to connect this to some sort of you know, a CRM or an email marketer or whatever, right? This is a little bit more of an advanced training. Again, you don't have to have all these pieces, but I'm telling you, this is something you can do. And once you set it up, we still have webinars from a decade ago that are still making sales to this day, okay? So the buckets that you wanna put people in 
Obviously there's the people that buy, right? When people buy, you, you know, do a little dance, right? You're happy. So you got the buyers, got all these people, but beyond the buyers, you have the no-shows, which will be probably your largest bucket. All right, especially as you get started, this most likely will be half or more than half of the people who register. The second group of people are people who start the webinar, but then leave before your call to action, right? CTA, call to action. During this webinar, there's gonna be a point in time, right? Well, Matt, when should I give the call to action? I'm gonna just tell you this right now. Every webinar we've ever been, I've been doing this for well over a decade, okay? Every single time we set out and we say, okay, we're gonna have the call to action at 45 minutes or like 50 minutes or within an hour. And we don't always do it. Um, and I'll, 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 I'll just tell you this, this is, and actually I learned this from Dan Kennedy. Everybody in my entire career has been telling me, your sales pages are too long, your webinars are too long, right? The best converting webinar that we ever created did not have the call to action until after 90 minutes. So when they tell you that it's too long to convert, I'm not saying make it extra long, but Dan Kennedy said that the more that somebody is invested into something, the more likely they are to buy. So how long do you make it? You make it as long as it takes to make the sale. As long as every single word that's in that webinar has a value, don't be too upset. I mean, shoot for a goal of an hour, but if it goes over that, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so that's how long it takes. So once they go to your webinar, the no-shows are the first group. The second group are those people who come to the webinar, but they leave before that call to action, before you actually sell them something. So this group is left early. And the third group of people are anybody who actually saw your CTA, your call to action. So these are the people who saw CTA, but didn't buy, right? So now that you've got these three buckets of people in whatever means you need to, if you use every webinar like we do, it just passes the information to your CRM, piece of cake. Now what you've got is you've got three separate sequences, okay? Now remember, we're gonna use email, we're gonna use text, and we're gonna use messenger. But even if you're just starting out and you wanna just start with email, imagine you've got three different email sequences that you're gonna send people into, okay? So, what do you do with these email sequences? Well, uh, first of all, let me, let me finish this. At the end of your webinar, when your CTA comes, I'm gonna say that this is the sales page here. Okay, this is where you collect the money. And you might have a sales page and a checkout page, however you want to do it. You might have your checkout on your sales page, whatever that is. All right, but your no-shows, this is very, very important because you're actually going to have, let me scroll over here a little bit. In addition to your main sales page, you are going to have a few additional sales pages that you're going to create. They're going to be very similar to your main sales page in that they're going to have your offer, your details, your bonuses, whatever those things are that you want to put on there. Um, but some of the additional pages, you're going to have a replay page. All that is, is that is just the sales page with the webinar video at the top. Um, you're going to create another one that's going to be an, a bonus added page. And I'll tell you why you're going to build that in just a second here. And then you're going to have a final page that's going to be a last call page. And we'll talk about that more in a second. But just realize that what you're going to be doing is you're going to be building a series of sales pages. Like we've got, we, we built out the 10x income system for Grant Cardone. That thing's got, I think, like 20 different sales pages, okay? But you'll start small, and I would recommend that you start with these particular pages. Now, once somebody goes to your webinar, I told you that there's three buckets they're gonna go into. If they're a no-show, what you wanna do is you wanna send them a re-register campaign, okay? A, a rookie mistake here is what, if they don't show, you send them the replay page. You do not wanna do that. The reality of it is the conversion rate on being on the, the like what live webinar versus watching a replay page, it's it's night and day. It's not even close to as high on a replay page. So anybody that doesn't show, you send them back into the registration at the very beginning, do the whole thing again, and it's gonna increase your likelihood of them converting. Now, if they left early, what you wanna do is you wanna send them a replay. Hey, hey Bob, looks like you had to bounce a little early. No worries at all, here's the replay, okay? You don't send them the re-register because then it kind of loses that illusion again. You're not telling them it's live, but you know, you don't want to do that. And so it's just like, hey, you got to leave early, here's the replay, and you send them up to the replay sales page. That way they can buy. And as a, as a quick note on this replay sales page, 
Put the, just put the offer right underneath it so that as soon as somebody lands on it, they can buy it. We used to test out making them wait to the call to action and then unlocking it. Don't do any of that stuff. Just keep it very, very simple, okay? So the people who saw the CTA, you already gave them the pitch. So now what you need to do is you need to give them a, a reason to come back. And that's why we're creating this bonus added page. All right, so now you've got a real reason of, you know, hey, I saw the offer I didn't buy. Well, hey, we got, we just sweetened the deal for you. Come check it out and you send them to here to buy. Okay, so these are three different sequences that happen depending on their behavior. If they don't show, if they show and leave early, or if they see the call to action, you send them different sequences, ideally with all three of your different marketing channels, but at a minimum with your email. Now, once they finish, these sequences, okay? So like the re-register campaign, maybe that's, you know, five emails or whatever that might be, right? What you wanna do is you wanna send them all into the same sequence, which is gonna be a last call sequence. This is gonna be this sort of countdown that's gonna happen where what you do is ideally, you can use a tool that's gonna to put a little countdown timer on the pages. Again, if this is too fancy for you, don't worry about it, but you wanna create the urgency of, hey, you know, this is gonna happen in five days. We're pulling down bonuses, we're raising the price or whatever that thing may be. But just, just imagine that depending on what bucket they are, they get their initial sequence and then everybody goes into the same sequence at the last call and then the webinar promotion is over, all right? So if you just use those different channels and you use these different buckets, you're gonna pick up an immense amount of sales. But now I wanna talk to you about the number one secret to really crushing it with automated webinars. And, and in fact, it's it's not just with automated webinars. Um, it's really, in my opinion, uh, the most important, like if you wanna just see an instant increase in your conversion rate, you have to put in real urgency or scarcity. And I, and I put the word real here. This is an absolute keyword. The last thing you ever wanna do is say, oh, the offer closes down in three days when the offer doesn't close down in three days. Okay, first of all, it's BS. Nobody likes that crap. Second of all, it's frankly, it's illegal, right? You can get your ass into a sling with the Federal Trade Commission. And it's just, you wanna build a real relationship with people. Just because they don't buy from you at first doesn't mean they won't buy from you later. And as soon as they know that you're full of it, you've ruined the relationship. So. Here are four different ways that you can create real urgency and scarcity throughout the process. The first way you can do this is by offering some sort of free gift that you give them at the end of the webinar. Okay, this does a couple things. So um, after they register, you say free gift for completing the, the introductory training, right? And once you get on the webinar, you say, Great, you know, we're gonna jump right into this thing. Just a heads up, if you're on at the end, I've got a free gift that I'm gonna give you. And what's cool is, is pretty much every automated webinar system in the world can tag a person who stays on until the end. So you're not only getting more people to attend, but you're getting more people to stick on until the very end and then you send them a free download of some sort, okay? Helps multiple, uh, multiple different things by giving a free gift. The second thing is having a re-registration, if you recall, um, this sequence back here, all right, for those people that were no-shows, what you always wanna do is no matter what the sequence, it always has to end. The last couple emails have to say, hey, last call, I'm not gonna send you another reminder. All right, this is the last email that you're gonna get about this. You, you don't have to say, hey, this webinar ends, right? Even just having a subject line of last call is gonna greatly increase your conversion rate. So on your re-registration campaign, make sure you use that language. Um, the next one is the webinar countdown. This one is huge, huge. So what we do is on the webinar, when they get on, we, we give them the call to action, give them the opportunity to buy, and then we always put up a countdown timer. And what we do, instead of saying, oh, we're closing the offer, what we do is we always start taking bonuses down after, for example, say 10 minutes. So webinar starts, you do the call to action, you give them the pitch and you say, hey, I told it it was gonna be limited time bonus. What we're gonna do is put up a timer. After that 10 minutes, we're gonna start taking down bonuses. And what happens is, uh, is on an automated webinar, when the call to action comes, you can have a button 
you can just, after that, that timer expires, you can change the button out and have it go to a page that just doesn't include one of the bonuses. So just having that shot clock, if you will, that motivation, that urgency to step up and actually buy is gonna make a massive boost in your conversion rate. And the fourth and final thing is the close down sequence, which I already mentioned. Just make sure that as you close it down, it's 48 hours left, 24 hours left. And then on the last day, you're gonna to wanna to send somewhere between two to three emails. And you're gonna find that on that last day, you're gonna see a major, major spike in sales. So that is the breakdown of the ultimate automated webinar. Obviously there's a lot there. You may need to watch this video twice. Um, the bottom line is even if you just pick up one thing at a time, when it comes to an automated webinar, every little piece, the attendance rate, the registration rate, right? Every single step along the way, just getting any boosting conversion can make all the difference. And at the end of the day, if you can be making money while you sleep, it's definitely a good thing. So thanks so much for the training. We'll see you in the very next one. Nice going champ, but we don't have to stop here. If you want to really be ambitious, click on one of these videos, or if you want to go the extra mile, hover over my head, click on subscribe, and then click the little bell. If you want some free goodies, go to swipemystuff.com and I'll see you in the next training.